What's up, everyone? Um, I know that over the last few days, a lot of people have been asking me, why aren't you sleeping? What's going on? Are you okay? And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, straight up, no, I'm not okay. And I haven't been sleeping very well at all for a very good reason. And that reason's name is Candle Smith. You see, six years ago, my life got turned upside down by Candle. For the past six years, I have been in a living nightmare for the last six years. And it's not been easy. You guys have seen the live streams. You know what happened. Matter of fact, the other night, I had Paul on here with me. We were sitting down and we were talking and we were discussing everything that she she has done everything that she has tried to manipulate people to do and let me tell you just the fact of knowing that I almost died from a murder is scary to me you don't know how many times you know just sitting there going over when Paul came over to visit knowing that that was the day that I was supposed to die you don't know how many times that has replayed over and over and over and over and over in my head and it's not an easy thing to do with. And the fact that Candle does all these things and has been getting away with it fucking scares the shit out of me. I feel scared not for myself at this point, but I feel scared for other people that she is going to do this to eventually. Like, you guys really don't understand. For those of you that do talk a lot of crap, for all you guys that do talk shit in the comments, you guys don't know the full extent of what Candle is capable of. I do because I've witnessed it. First hand, I've witnessed it and it's scary. It is very fucking scary. Like, people think that this is all some internet hoax bullshit it's really not go back a couple of streams ago when I posted the links to all the articles of things that she's done there's many articles on the crimes that she's committed and like I said I'm not the only one that she's done this to she's done this to her ex bro my good friend boogeyman shout out to boogeyman and happy birthday book happy birthday to my boy Paul aka boogeyman the clown aka book happy birthday brother but this girl is pure evil personified she has has attempted murder on I don't know how many people. The only ones that I know of are myself and my good friend and her ex-girlfriend, bro. How many other people she has attempted murder on? I don't know. It could be as many as a number as you can think. Like, it could be one, it could be ten, it could be more than that. I don't know. But just knowing the fact that this evil sick twisted individual is walking the street is scary and let me tell you when paul aka boogeyman the clown when me and him were talking and he first told me about how that day that he came over was the day that i was supposed to die when he told me that my heart sank into the pit of my stomach like that because that scared the fuck out of me that scared the living shit out of me and let me tell you that was not something i thought I would ever hear and the fact that he came forward and told me that he didn't do it because he knew it was wrong that meant the world to me that meant the world to me knowing that he had the courage to come forward and say hey I was supposed to do this to you but I didn't want to do it because one you're a friend of mine and two it's not right and to boogeyman the clown I say thank you brother I say thank you for not taking my life away I thank you for that I thank you for having the courage to come forward and speak up about this shit I commend you for that because not many people would have the courage to come forward and say hey this is why I really came over that day this is what was supposed to happen but let me tell you aside from that losing my friends my reputation being pretty much permanently tarnished my life being ruined to a very high degree losing friends my job things that I hold dear I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from it I really don't I really don't know if I will ever be able to recover from all of this because this is sick six years. Six years worth of being put through hell, being tortured, being attacked, being harassed, being bullied, being stalked, being threatened, being terrorized. And the fact that she is allowed to get away with this is not cool. Like for those of you that sit there and you run your mouths about me and talk about the stuff that I've done, you guys don't understand what I have been getting put through for the last six years. Imagine having to look over your shoulder every single 
single day in fear for your life for six years. I've had to do that and I still have to do that and it sucks. You want to know what I did before Candle came into my life? You want to know what I was doing? I was doing photography work, hanging out with friends. I had a girlfriend at the time actually right before her. I was very happy with my life. I had things going for me. I was hanging out with friends, family. I had a normal life and yes, I would upload on the YouTube and stuff. I would do a little vlogs here and there. <laughs> but that was my life every day before Candle came into it. I was doing vlogs. I was doing artwork. I was actually filming. As a matter of fact, right around that time, which I am going to be uh, replacing the stuff on this. I am going to be replacing the memory card because I do need a new one. But this is what I used to do. I used to go down to the lake and use this beautiful camera right here and get photos. I used to do that. I was actually working on a few independent films that a couple friends of mine were helping me out with that time. But let me tell you, nothing could have prepared me. Nothing in the world could have prepared me for what Candle did. And I do mean nothing in the world could have prepared me for any of it. Let me tell you, Candle has done a lot of bad things to a lot of people. Candle has done a lot of bad things to a lot of good people who have done nothing wrong. And the fact that she does this is not okay. You know, people ask me all the time, what do I want to do with my life? I've said it before and I'll say it again. I want to be able to do my artwork for a living. My artwork is what I was born doing. All right? My artwork is what I was raised doing my entire fucking life. Artwork is in my blood. I come from a family of artists and doing artwork is the one thing that I love more than anything. And let me tell you, if Candle were to leave me the fuck alone and quit this bullshit of manipulating her friends into stealing money from me and attacking me and shutting me down, I could actually make a good living. I really could make a living with my artwork. But because of Candle and everything that she's done to me over the years, that's hard for me to do. That's very hard for me to do. So to answer your guys' question, no, I'm not okay. I don't know if I'll ever be okay. I don't know if this nightmare will ever fucking end. But let me tell you, I can't Candle, I know you're probably watching this right now. And I hope you are. I hope you are watching this. I want you to know that one day, you're gonna get arrested. You are a sick and evil person that deserves to be locked up for everything that you've done to myself, to Paul, to Heather, to Brooke, to all the other people that you've attacked. And why you're doing all this, I don't understand. I don't care to understand. But what I do know is that you deserve to pay for your punishment. You deserve to get punished for your crime. And what you don't realize candle is this. Eventually, eventually, your crimes are going to catch up with you because you have several warrants for your arrest out right now. You have several warrants out for your arrest and eventually, those warrants are going to catch up to you because you're going to run out of places to run to. You can't run forever, Candle. What are, what are you going to do when you've done run through all 50 states? What are you going to do? Huh? What's going to happen when you run through the entire U.S.? What are you going to do? You can't hide forever, Candle. Eventually, you're going to get caught. And you're going to be making it worse on yourself by running. You don't think that you're not going to run out of places to hide? Well, let me tell you, you're very wrong in that, Candle. Your crimes will catch up with you. The things you're doing now will catch up with you. Candle, you gotta fucking stop this. You've ruined so many lives already. You've hurt so many people already as is. You need to stop this. This has got to fucking stop, Candle. You manipulating people. Committing these crimes. It needs to stop. You think that this is a joke? You think that this shit's a game? That it's funny? Let me tell you, it's not funny, Candle. This is real motherfucking life, okay? I have artwork that I can make a living from, but you ruined a lot of that. You made it very hard for me to make a living off my artwork. You made that very hard hard for me. And I come from a family of artists. One who's a very well-known tattoo artist up in Alaska. My cousin Jason. Candle, you need to stop this. You're going way too fucking far. Way too far. It needs to stop. You need to turn yourself into the police because I know Clint and everyone here will agree with me. Eventually, you're gonna run out of places to hide. You will run out of places to hide, Candle. Then what are you gonna do? When you run out of places to hide, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, huh? You need to think about that. And I suggest if you don't want to spend the rest of your fucking life in prison, you need to turn yourself in and get your shit together. Take care of your warrants that you have. Take care of that shit. And stop the bullshit that you're doing. I mean, you done ruined my life. You done fucked up Paul's life. You fucked up poor Brooks' 
life to where she's now afraid to be with anyone because of you. You ruined my life to where it's hard for me to be with anybody because of the bad reputation that you gave me. Kendall, you gotta stop this. All this bullshit that you're doing, the manipulating, the attack, the murder attempts on me and Paul and everyone. You need to stop. I get it. You could have taken my life that day, Kendall. I get it. But guess what? You didn't have the guts to finish the job yourself. You didn't have the guts to do it yourself. Maybe if you would have done it, maybe. Keyword, maybe you would have stood a shot. But instead, I'm still here. You didn't have the balls to put me down when you had the chance. You had a chance to put me down in the ground like you wanted. You had your chance. But guess what? You failed at it. You failed miserably. Like I told you, Kendall, I am untouchable. You cannot kill me. Because half the people that you sent after me to try to kill me, guess what? None of them do it. Why? Because they know damn well it's the wrong thing to do. So, Kendall, if you're gonna fucking murder me, if you're gonna, if you're seriously that hellbent on murdering me, or me ending up dead, why don't you come do it your fucking self? Why don't you do it your goddamn self if you're that hellbent on killing me? I'm not afraid to die. When I die, I know where the fuck I'm going. And it sure as fuck ain't the hell in a handbasket, I'll tell you that much right now. I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid of death. I welcome it. I don't fear death, Candle. That's something that you need to realize. I don't fear death. I am not afraid to die. When my time comes, my time comes. When my time is up, my time is up. I can't do anything about it. If God calls me home, well, guess what? I'm going home. But Candle, you need to realize something. You're not as smart as you think you are. You're really not. You don't think that all the shit you're doing isn't going to catch up with you? Like I told you before, Candle, what are you going to do when you run out of all 50 states? What are you going to do? You can't flee the country. You can't go to Canada. You can't go to Mexico. Because they're fucking blocked from travel due to COVID. So what are you going to do, Kendall? You may as well stop your bullshit and grow up and leave people the fuck alone. Oh, and just for the record, quit talking to my motherfucking exes. Knock it the fuck off and quit talking to my exes. You have no business talking to them. So, Kendall, if I were you, I'd shut my motherfucking mouth. And I'll be straight up honest right the fuck now, Candle, because Paul knows me. Everybody that knows I'm a good person knows how I am. I normally don't put my hands on women, but let me tell you right now, Candle, you're the one person that I would make an exception for. You're the one fucking person that I would love to get my hands on and knock the fuck out. And you wanna know why? Because of every fucking thing that you've ever done to people like myself. You're the one fucking person that I would make an exception for to knocking the fuck out. Cause honestly, you do need to get put on your fucking ass. You do, you do need to get knocked the fuck out. Cause maybe if you actually get your ass beat, you might realize, oh shit, I need to stop doing this. So seriously, knock it off. Cause let me tell you, let me tell you right now, Candle, you're not as hard as you think you are, little girl. You're a piece of trash. You're shit, garbage, a fucking deadbeat loser that doesn't deserve to have a life. If anything, you deserve to be behind motherfucking bars for the rest of your fucking miserable life. Cause you are a monster. You're evil. You're sick in the fucking head. And honestly, you need help. So, Candle, quit your fucking bitching and your fucking bullshit. Enough is enough, Candle. You need to quit. No one fucking respects you because of how you are. You ruined my life. You ruined Paul's life. Almost ruined Heather. Ruined Brooke's life. Ruined many others before Brooke. And you need to stop. And to everyone out there that has been attacked by Candle, I don't know if any of you are watching this or or not but if by some random chance that any of Candle's victims are watching this I want to say that I'm truly fucking sorry for what she did to you none of you deserve that none of you deserve what she did to you I didn't deserve what she did to me and Brooke I would especially like to apologize to you because you know you're like a little sister to me you know that you're family to me and I just want to say that you didn't deserve that you deserve so much better with your life and I do hope that you do find happiness I do hope that you can find someone to be with, that makes you happy, that treats you right. Because you deserve to be treated right. But Candle, as for you, the only thing you deserve, the only thing that you deserve, Candle, 
is a fucking jail cell. That's all you deserve is a fucking jail cell to sit and rot in for the rest of your miserable, pathetic life. That's all you deserve. But to those wondering, am I okay? Physically, yes, I'm fine. But the mentally, because of what Candle did, and emotionally, because of what she did, especially finding out what I found out recently, not so much. Like, I'm trying to figure out where to go from here, how to deal with it, how can I get my life back to where I used to have it, to where it never should have left. How can I get my life back to where it needs to be? How can I get around candle and start making a living off my artwork like I love to do. I mean, many of you guys have seen my artwork. You've seen my digital dark artistry. You guys have seen my hand painted artistry. You guys have seen sketches that I've done. And I do have potential to make a living. And that's what I want to get back. I want to get back to doing my artwork. I want to get back to making a living doing what I love doing more than anything in the world. And I just hope and pray that I can get back to that eventually. I don't know when, but hopefully I can get back to it. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the morning. I'll... I'm gonna try to figure things out. I'm gonna try to figure out what I can do and what I need to do to get back to where I need to be. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace.